14-year-old high school student arrested for bringing a homemade clock to school. His teacher thought the device was a bomb. The backlash to his arrest was swift online. The hashtag I stand with Ahmed quickly becoming a top trend with responses from Silicon Valley to the White House. Ahmed Mohammed, we're going to, he's going to join us in just a moment. First, ABC's Ryan Owens has his story. This high school freshman loves to tinker with all things electronic, but his latest invention got the 14-year-old hauled in handcuffs to the police station in Irving, Texas. Take a look at his homemade digital clock, a maze of wires and circuit boards inside a metal case. He built it at home to impress his teachers, but one of them thought it might be a bomb and alerted authorities. That's a very suspicious device. We live in an age where you can't take things like that to schools. But arresting a 14-year-old? I think this wouldn't even be a question if his name wasn't Ahmed Mohammed. Police say they are not charging Ahmed, but they are standing by their initial response. So are school officials, who suspended him for three days. This morning, he's something of a techie superstar. Twitter inviting him to intern, Google asking him to their science fair, Mark Zuckerberg wants him to visit Facebook, and even the president of the United States tweeting him. Cool clock, Ahmed. Want to bring it to the White House? Are you going to the White House, my friend? Yes. <laughs> For Good Morning America, Ryan Owens, ABC News, Irving, Texas. All right, Ryan, thank you very much. And now we're going to talk with Ahmed Mohammed. He joins us outside of his home in Dallas. So good to see you and to get a chance to talk with you, Ahmed. Tell us a little bit about why you decided to design this clock and bring it to school. I brought the clock to impress my teachers. And um, I guess when I did show it to her, she was kind of scared when she saw it. She saw a clock, but in her opinion, it looked like a, a threat to her, so. When police were brought in, did you think this, what went through your mind when you saw the police and you were handcuffed? It felt really weird getting arrested because I'd never thought I'd ever get arrested. And what did you tell the police about your clock? I repeatedly told them it's a clock. Were you allowed to talk to your, your parents? What did your parents say to you? One of the officers told me that I am in an interrogation and I can't, I can't call my parents during this and while they were interrogating me, so. Were you afraid, Ahmed? Were you scared? I, I was scared at the moment, but now I feel I feel really happy that I'm getting all the support from all over the world. And the support isn't just for me, but it's for everyone who's been through this. I will fight for you if you can't stand it for yourself. And that is what you're doing, young man. And just tell us a little bit about the, the support. I mean, the President of the United States, Facebook, Google, MIT. Who were you most excited to hear from? MIT. <laughs> <laughs> is that a dream of yours? Yeah, I dream of going there. But the White House, that's not too bad. I mean, a, a personal invitation from the President of the United States, and I, I heard that you said you're going to take him up on the offer and go to the White House? Yes, uh, I, I will accept his offer, and I will hope to see him soon. And will you bring the clock with you? Um, I, I, the, the clock is still in custody with the police. Do you want it back? I want it back with my humility. Ah, ah, because you have been suspended from the school. What are your future plans, Ahmed? That clock was part of my future plan. Your future plans, do they also include being on a, a little show called Shark Tank? You said you've been watching it since you were a child, as you put it. Uh, I wanted to be here at the age of 14, and I guess now I have a chance to be on there. Do you have something with you? Can we see it? It's the motherboard of the entire media player. Have you always been fascinated with things like that and doing things like that, Ahmed? This isn't my first invention and it won't be my last invention. Uh, something tells me we have not heard the last from Ahmed Mohammed. You have, you're a bright young man with a bright future. Thank you very much for joining us and we wish you all the very best. You take care. And good morning, America. <laughs> he did that all on his own. We didn't ask him to do it. He did that all on his own. Maybe he can work on the packaging. <laughs> the design of it is, yes, but he said it's not his last design. And I love that. Meeting the president's fun, but MIT degree, Woo, that's forever. Yes. Yes. All right, that was great, Robin. Thank you.